G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. To say that I like multimeters might be a little bit of an understatement. Lucky guys. What? I can stop any time I like, honest. Here's just a few that I have in my collection. In this new series about multimeters, I'm going to show you how to purchase one that's going to suit both your pocket and your needs. And then when you get it home and lovingly unwrap it out of its packaging, how to use it correctly. Let's get into it. At this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, self, what is a multimeter? And that's a fair question. And that's why I'm here. I can help you out. A multimeter, well, it's actually kind of in the title, isn't it? It's a meter made up of multiple meters. What do I mean by that? And what's the history behind this fascinating meter? It was back in about 1820 when the first electrical meter was made, a galvanometer. That's right, it was back in the day when good old Galvani was measuring the electricity that came from frog's legs, called animal electricity. Believe it or not, it's actually a thing. Hey, don't look it up now. Wait till the end of the video, then you can have a look, okay? So what is this galvanometer? The first moving needle electrical measurement device, I guess you could say, was a galvanometer. Interesting name. And what it did was it had a needle in the center. Not only could it measure something, but it could also measure the direction of that measurement, particularly with amperage. Some of these meters were actually quite big and cumbersome not really suitable for work out in the field. Some of these individual meters would do voltage, resistance, and amperage. Then along came British post engineer, Donald McCady, back in the mm, 1920s. He wasn't keen on carrying around all these separate meters. Can't understand why. So he figured that there has to be a better device for measuring and diagnosing out there in the field instead of having all these separate pieces of equipment. That's right. That's when he came up with the invention of the multimeter. Donald McCady, you're a legend, mate. One of my personal heroes. And after all, why wouldn't you be? You invented the multimeter. He invented what was called an AVO. So basically amps, voltage, and ohms. Someone kindly gave me an AVO meter. This is one of these original bad boys. About 1956, I believe. It's an AVO Mark II. It's called an analog meter, but we'll get into those details later on. Needless to say, this was a step forward for technicians out in the field. Rather than taking all those cumbersome meters with them, they only had to take one. Well, thanks for the history lesson, Max. But look, I want to buy a multimeter. I don't know what to buy. How much should I spend? Is 10 bucks too little? Is $400 too much? I don't know. Should I get a digital? Should I get an analog? Should I get a fixed range, an auto range, a bench top, a mobile? The list goes on and on. I'm so confused. Well, that's what this series is about, guys. Hopefully I can give you a direction to buy a reasonably priced multimeter that will suit your needs. So let's start with the basics. And that is what we will discuss next time. Catch you later.